The Avengers number 44 was published a few days ago and presented the finale of Enter the Phoenix run by Jason Aaron, in which it was revealed that Thor is the son of Lady Phoenix. The Phoenix came to Earth in search of its new host, empowered several heroes and villains, and pitted them against each other to determine the winner of the Cosmic Force. Our book for today opens where the last ended, with Captain America fighting Black Panther on top of the Avengers Mountain. They punch and kick each other, without having a clear winner. Cap tries to talk some sense into Panther, and asks if he has been trying to find a way out of this mess. He says that they have the strongest Avengers team ever. So why do they need a phoenix? Panther says, cause he saw this fate on a cave's wall. Since he discovered those million-year-old cave paintings, Tony Stark has come face to face with the prehistoric heroes they presented, Thor has become the old father of Asgard, and Robbie Reyes has become the most powerful ghost rider the world has ever seen. The star brand has been reborn, and the Black Panther leads the Avengers. The prophecies have become true. They need a phoenix, or the Earth may not survive this age of chaos. Meanwhile, at New York Harbor, the battle rages between Shanna, the Queen of Jungle, and the mysterious Red Widow, who impales the distracted Shanna while she was trying to get a ship to the shore of safety. Red Widow tells Shanna that she is too pretty to belong with the animals, and that no one has ever called her pretty. She is made of scars, and her life has been spent being ground into a living weapon. But Shanna retaliates and takes Red Widow down. In Moscow, the battle rages between She-Hulk and Namor, who hits her, remarking that Jennifer can't handle being a Hulk, let alone handling being a Phoenix. She-Hulk, however, retaliates and says that she doesn't care about the Phoenix. She just wants to smash Namor. She feels that she is stronger than the Avengers and Banner himself, but Namor attacks again, saying that the Firebird came for him. He blames She-Hulk and the Avengers for not being able to protect Atlantis and will have all the Phoenix Force to protect his homeland. She-Hulk, however, rips Namor's arms and uses them to hit him, but being empowered with the Phoenix, Namor controls his ripped arms and tries to suffocate She-Hulk, remarking that she has never wielded this power before, but he has. He then gets his arms back and knocks She-Hulk down with great force. Back to the Avengers Mountain, Captain Marvel tries to absorb as much as she can from the Phoenix energy, while Ghost Rider remarks that all hell power can drag the Firebird away. Thor, who has discovered that the Phoenix is his mother, demands to let the bird go. Valkyrie remarks that the chains will not hold him for long, and tells the Avengers to take the bird down. The new Herald of the Phoenix then appears, and starts draining the power from all the combatants around the world. She doesn't think that she is the one the Phoenix wants, or the one it loves, but judging by her new memories, getting chosen is never about being a winner. To become the Phoenix, you have to suffer. She then confronts Namor and pounds on him. The phoenix is drawn to emotion, not strength, cause it already has all the strength it needs. It can adapt itself to the host, but it has never had a host capable of wielding it in so many different ways. Namor fights back and remarks that his opponent uses an Atlantan martial art and wonders who she is. The mysterious phoenix knocks Namor away and completely drains him of the phoenix power, saying that if he wants to live, then he must go back to the nearest ocean. Back on the Avengers Mountain, the Firebird takes the Phoenix Force back from Captain America and Black Panther. Lady Phoenix then tells Thor that she doesn't have more time, and promises to come back soon. Thor says that he wants to know the truth, but Lady Phoenix says that the truth is complicated, and for now, it's enough to know that he is the only begotten child of the Phoenix, the son of the Thunderbird. 
With that, Lady Phoenix merged with the Firebird, who manifested in the new Herald of the Phoenix, namely Maya Lopez, also known as Echo, the echo of all the fire and life that's come before her. She is the Thunderbird of old and tomorrow. She is the Phoenix. From the moon, Jean Grey, the former host of the Phoenix, telepathically contacts Echo and tells her not to do this alone. She's a loner, and the Firebird likes loners, but she can't let the Phoenix isolate her from the things that make her human. She hopes that Echo can keep her human soul, and wishes her a good luck. When Neymar fought Echo in the rematch, he noticed that she was using an Atlantan martial art, cause like Taskmaster, she has a photographic memory, which enabled her to copy Neymar's fighting style after they had fought the first time in the sea. Jason Aaron made Thor the son of the Phoenix, but did not grant him the Phoenix Force. Let me know what you think about this run, and don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.